Hey guys, here's a super quick video to help you upload multiple files to Etsy. If you're selling something like a whole printable pack, lots of digital stickers, um, anyway, when you have lots of little files that's in your product, Etsy only allows you to upload five files. So how do you actually get around that to get the customer the entire beautiful bundle that you're selling? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and give you a couple options. Okay. Um, hey guys, I'm Susie. I've been doing this for a long time, helping moms start and grow their blogs into successful businesses. And I help moms also, or, you know, anybody, but I, I love to talk to moms because I'm a mom, um, sell printables and small digital products online. If you do want to get into my courses, they're super affordable, I've had thousands of students go through them. Links are below to printables by number, blog by number. Go check them out. They're pretty awesome. All right, let's get into the video. All right. So first thing here is the problem that we're running into. If we're creating a listing on Etsy and it's a digital file, then when we scroll down, you can only upload up to five files. So if you have multiple printable sizes or multiple files, how do we get them all into this if there's only five available? So the way to do that and which I think is pretty nice because your reader or not your reader, your customer also gets like a little welcome letter is to, let me think, what do you do first? First of all, you're going to upload the files of the actual digital product that they're going to get to a cloud storage somewhere. Okay. So first we're not going to upload them directly to Etsy because there's only size for um, space for five and they have a size limit limit of, I think like 20 megabytes. So you can't even upload something very big on here in case you have like a, a digital art print that you want people to have the really good, um, all the resolution of the image, then that might not even fit on Etsy because they also have to guard their storage space. Okay. So you, first of all, you're going to upload your digital products to an I or a storage somewhere in a cloud storage. You can use iCloud. It's Apple. You can use OneDrive, which is Microsoft. You can use Dropbox, which I used back in college. Um, loved it back then. I haven't used it since. I'm sure it still works really well. Um, I haven't looked at the pricing of it lately, so it might be a little pricey. Let me think here. I don't see any pricing. Okay. So it's a monthly price. So that's Dropbox is nice. It has a lot of cool features, um, but it is a little pricey. So what we personally use in our business is we upload tons of stuff online. So we use bunny.net. It stores your video. So say in case you want to do um, online courses or you want to upload a video somewhere, you can do that here. So it hosts your videos, your files, all that good stuff. We host probably hundreds of video files on here and even just as much um, PDF and digital files. So, and it's not, it's not pricey. It's not a monthly thing. They actually just bill you for what you use. And let me see if we go in here, I'm logged into my account. So you upload money into it and it kind of grabs from that. And then once you hit a certain threshold, it'll charge your card again. So it's, it's pretty simple. You're not going to be stuck with a monthly subscription. If you do want to know more about bunny.net, the actual storage online that we use, I do have a link below to a video that John does my amazing hubby covering bunny.net. Um, especially for if you're hosting like online courses and so on. So you can see here, our monthly usage is like $3 and we have tons of files on here and we have thousands of students that are pulling this. So, um, very, very, very low cost. And there we just put in some more into bunny, um, as a credit. So that was not a charge that was green. Yeah. It's more money. Okay. So once you have your cloud storage system where you want to upload your files to, for example, I have these files under bonnie.net. Um, they're my big picture calendar files. So they're all PDFs. You can see they're different sizes in Etsy. I can't upload all of them because there's six and in Etsy, I only have space for five. So what I would do here is if I have multiple files, I would go to Canva and I'm going to create one file, one PDF that then links out to all my other PDFs that the person that my, my customer is purchasing. So you can just go into Canva, get a nice template that you like. I like the newsletter templates because I almost see it as like a welcome 
like pack it for your customer where you can introduce a little bit of your, of yourself, maybe introduce a coupon code for your future products. Um, you can use it as a welcome and as a sale and as a place where they get their files. So it's a pretty cool little, little feature. So let's think of a cool one that we can do. They all look pretty awesome. I'm just going to go for this one. I like it. I'm going to say customize this template and I'm going to name it something so that when the person purchases it from Etsy, this is the file that they're going to get on their computer. So it has to make sense to them that this is what they just purchased. So in my case, they just purchased the big picture calendar. Probably want to put like the name of your Etsy store. So they recognize that. Um, anything else that would make it easy for them to find it. Um, you can say welcome or access products here, something like that, okay? So that when they see it in their downloads folder, they know, okay, that is the, the file that I wanna go look at. So I can name this um, big picture calendar. I can say, thank you so much for your purchase. Can change all this. Okay, I'll access your products. And on here, you can obviously change anything you want on, um, on Canva. I'm going to upload a preview of the product that they just purchased so that they feel familiar with this, um, this newsletter. So let me see if I have it on here. Yeah, so I uploaded a preview and you probably already have some previews of your digital product on your computer. You probably use that in creating the images on Etsy. So take those images again, especially because your customer just saw those on Etsy. So if you use the same image, so I'm gonna take that and drag it here. I'm just gonna make it square. So it looks, you wanna have that continuous look between the two. Okay, and then um, by um, big picture calendar can name it there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And then here I can say download the 18. What kind of versions do I have here? If I go 12 by 18, 18 by 24. Okay. So 12 by 18 version. And I'm just going to duplicate that and give enough space between the links. What's the next one? 18 by 24, right guys? 1824, 2436, 18, 24, and duplicate it again, and 24. And I'm giving enough, like not, I'm not putting these like right on top of each other because sometimes it's hard to click the links if they're too close together. So I'm just gonna put them there. And then I'm gonna go to wherever the cloud storage is here, and I'm going to, depending on what cloud storage you use, somehow you're gonna get that URL to have people access the file, right? So I'm gonna copy the URL here. I'm gonna go back here and then I'm going to link that text. Enter, okay? So that one's linked. Next one, I'm gonna copy the URL from this one. Link it up there. This one, copy the URL. So here I'm creating one file where they can access all their purchases. Okay, so here is, so they bought the big picture calendar. They can access all the files here. And here is where I can put maybe a picture of me. Maybe this one would be better, square, yeah. And I can say, thank you for your purchase tell my story here a little bit. It's not how you spell story. I'm related to your customer. Okay, and then at the bottom here, I can do something like a little element, a little square, just a little square, you know, just, just a little box there. That little box can bring you in more sales. Uh, I'm gonna take this text. I'm just gonna copy paste it coupon code um thank you for i don't know 25 percent off any product so you can set up a, um, a coupon code in etsy 
and then make sure it's the same as the coupon code that you're sh showing here, right? Um, and then they can go back to um, purchase more of your stuff, make that a little bit, make it easy, and then also have a button back to your store that might be on your um, on your blog. It might be on Etsy. Uh, go to go to shop. And this is how you can get reoccurring purchases, okay? And then that one, this is a link that will link back to our Etsy shop. So we'll just go Etsy, Etsy.com. Oh, Etsy.com, sorry, spelled it wrong. SST.com. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna go here. I'm gonna link that to my Etsy shop. So here I have a way for them to access the products. You can obviously put in more links if you have more than one here. Then we can also do on this welcome sheet. So obviously use it as, as much as you want. This is your little um, opportunity to relate to your reader again, to show them where to access the products, to introduce other products. What you can also do on here is a free gift. So this is how you can get them on your email list because I know Etsy doesn't allow you to get them, get the customers directly if they make a purchase onto your email list. Um, so again, get the, so here is how you can present your free gift. I would show a little image of it. So um, let's see, 10 day. Okay, so imagine that is one of my freebies that I have on my blog. I'm gonna put that there. So obviously you can arrange this and make this super duper pretty, but that's a whole different video on how to adjust stuff in Canva. Get the free mini course on printables here. And then you'll link that to your 10 day freebie. So your recent customer can go and access your freebie. So with this one PDF, they're gonna access their products. They might become a reoccurring customer with using that coupon code, and they could get onto your email list, and they get to learn a little bit about you. Obviously, you can make this multiple pages, so we can copy it. You can go edit the next template that Canva has here. You can make it a big, meaty, little like welcome packet. And then once you're done, you'll download this as not a PNG, because that's an image file, as a PDF. We'll download this one. And this is the file that you upload to Etsy. So when we're here in Etsy, creating our listing, we're gonna upload that one file here, the big picture calendar, cause that's a product that they just purchased. Start a mom blog, access products here, boom. Super easy. So from that one PDF, you can link to multiple digital files. You can link to large digital files. You can link to different sizes, all in this one beautiful welcome packet. All right, I hope that helps um, when you're creating digital products and selling them on Etsy and making beautiful bundles of all kinds of things that you can create. Um, let me know in the comments below if that helped you. And if you do wanna know more about creating digital products and selling them on your website through funnels or on places like Etsy, sign up to the Printables by Number course below. I also have a freebie for you called the 10 Day Printable Challenge if you wanna learn how to start with digital products. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video.